Okay, so this is gonna be an addition to that first Pythium video because Pythium is hitting everybody's lawn, it seems like, in certain areas. Uh, and some people are mistaking them as dry spots and so they're kicking up the water or watering a lot more frequently and it's just making it go happy. It's just making it take off like crazy. And so this here, and there's a couple things we can do. Um, right down here we have some sporea. So the little fuzzy parts that are sticking the grass together right here. A little kind of gray, more gray than white uh, fuzz. You'll see it really pronounced uh, in the morning around 7 o'clock before the dew's gone, before the sun's really up much. If you go out at 7 o'clock, you can kind of take a survey of how much disease might be going on in your lawn. And it will be more at the top and it'll be a lot thicker. So surprisingly, it's 2 o'clock and we still can see some of this. So the Pythium is very happy right now on this lawn. Uh, so here we are, some Pythium through here. There's the fuzzy thing. Okay, and so like we talked about with Pythium, Pythium uh, can have, um, can run with water, right? And so since it can run with water, we need to be careful about when we're even mowing our grass when we have Pythium. Because Pythium, since it has that little whipping tail and can run with water, if the grass is wet when you're mowing the lawn, it's going to spread that pythium. You'll actually see tire tracks almost like it was dry when you drove through there. But it'll spread that pythium and you'll even see it right on the tires uh, through the grass. And so you'll see these strange spots where it started. And then if you mow when it's wet, you'll see these streaks coming out of there of that pythium inoculating. Uh, it's happened so fast that when I was on the golf courses, we had these T markers. They were square and we sat them on the turf. We moved them every day. Okay. And so we moved them every day and we sat them down. Well, that didn't have a perch up where air could get through there, so it just kind of laid on the grass, uh, these particular tee markers. And <clears throat> by noon that day, the same day, we moved it in the morning around 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. By noon, I'd go out there and I'd lift that tee marker up. The grass was dead underneath it from Pythium already. That's how quick it can work. I mean, it just works super fast. And so if we drive through wet grass, we're going to move it along, okay? Uh, and really, the herbicides for Pythium are so expensive that it's just be silly to even attempt it in your lawn in most cases, right? Unless you're real particular and, and money's no object, then go for it. Even I've seen people that have that, uh, that fungicide for Pythium and still struggle to control it. And so most of the time we're just gonna do the best watering programs we can, mowing when it's dry. Purdue even suggests sticking out fans to help dry that grass out which is a little silly in most cases. So unless you're really adamant about that, you can stick a fan out. But it has this weird gray look to it. It doesn't quite look like dried out grass where it just look kind of like straw, right? It kind of has this gray look. If you look really close into it, you'll see these like little gray speckles and stuff all over the leaves of the plant too. That's a way to help identify it as well. If you can't quite identify it, if you take a, a far away picture and then a really close up picture and email it to us at gcqfertilizer at gmail.com, I can help you identify that uh, and make sure that it's Pythium. Um, what are we gonna do about it if we have it? Well, we're gonna water right, deep and infrequent. We're not gonna mow when it's wet. Uh, and we're gonna try to limb up some limbs if we need to around that area to help air movement. That's one way we can help it without a fan, I suppose. Um, and just be really adamant that, hey, look, it's gonna take its course. Let's hope the weather cools down and it's not growing so fast. And if we have desiccation, we're gonna seed in September. Remember to seed in September. I know I said that earlier, but every spring I sell way more seed than I do in September. In September, I should be selling the most seed uh, because now we have the most cool season, right? Cool season grass. We have the most cool season for it to grow and mature and not fight against all these diseases because Pythium uh, melting out really hits young grass too. So some people have planted seed this spring and now it's still kind of immature. We hit this weather and melting out's going on and they're gonna have to reseed that spot anyways. So fall is really a good time, or I call it early fall, is a really good time to seed. And so let's focus on seeding those areas if we need to. And you'll be surprised, once temperature calms down and all that stuff, a lot of these areas are gonna end up repairing themselves. I know it's frustrating that your lawn's looking ugly and things like that, but if you look at the people who are not doing the right things, their yards are gonna be worse. So try to take that picture of your lawn and then looking at those neighbor's lawns that, that don't do as good a job managing their lawn and your yards are still going to be looking better than their lawn. Okay? Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you later. 
Okay, one last little additive. I always think of something right at the last minute. Uh, it Pythium loves to control or attack healthy grass. That's I think what the most frustrating part about that is your grass will look amazing, right? And then within two days, boom, it's wiped out and virtually dead. Uh, and so that's one of the things we also got to think about is that's where it's targeting. So if you got a guy who doesn't water his lawn at all and all this stuff, well, he's not getting diseases. And like I said, a dry lawn is much easier than a wet disease lawn. And that's why I really want you to try to focus on deep, infrequent watering, right, in order to do that. So, and it's a, it's a fungicide that takes control of uh, pythiums, not herbicide. Or I think earlier I said herbicide, but it's fungicide. All right, thanks so much. We'll talk to you later. Okay, one last thing. Sorry about that, but <clears throat> with the affected pythium areas, go out there and rake those areas lightly to kind of get it frothed up and get some air to be able to move in where that pythium actually exists. Uh, wait till it's dry before you rake it, right? Don't go raking it while it's all wet and you're spreading it. So when it's dry, go out there and kind of fluff it around and you don't have to rake up all the brown grass, just kind of fluff it up so you get some air movement and some sun down in there and that'll help as well prevent that from keep on rolling along that pythium disease. Okay? All right, now we got it.